Hi guys, um, delighted to welcome Sang Egerton back to seconds out, of course, and his opponent, Carlos Molina, who um, this first time I've had the pleasure of speaking to. Um, how are you both? Start with you, Sam. I'm good, Tom. Yeah, I'm good. And you, Carlos? Well. I'm good, Danny. I'm real good, thanks. Glad to hear it. So you've got big fight, guys, May the 22nd. Um, WBC international title at stake. Carlos is the WBC number eight in the latest rankings. I checked those earlier just to see if he'd gone up or down, but very solid position in that top 10. Sam, is that the main attraction for this fight for you? And also, what's with the decision to go up to middleweight? This is this is for the WBC silver, this one, pal. Um, oh, sorry, WBC silver, not WBC international. Yeah, so, you know... With Molina's name, you know, the totals on the line, you know, the ranking that he's got, it's too much of an opportunity to turn down. Um, it was mentioned, you know, it was a no-brainer. You know, 160 is not a, it's not a huge jump, you know, for, for anyone my size. So, um, yeah, it's just a, it's an opportunity, you know, you can't turn down. And Carlos, what's your primary motivation in taking this fight? Because you're the one coming into this with a high world ranking. You've got it all to lose, if you like. Why come over to England and risk it against a hungry contender like Sam? Well, I feel like it's a great opportunity for me to get to the world title. This is a WBC championship fight, a silver title. And also my promotional company is going to be part of the, the promotion is a co-promoter. And that, that's, a, that's important for me also. So it kind of like the package, you know, it's a great opportunity for me on both, uh, both aspects. And Sam, you talked about moving up to 160. It's not a major jump, but obviously we saw you uh, win European title amongst other belts at welterweight. You're now two weights above that. Your size was always a huge advantage at the lower weights. Is there any sort of concern that it won't be as big an advantage the further you go up? Not really. I mean, you know, my size wasn't an advantage at welterweight. Um, but we went up to 154 and we, we blew out, uh, you know, the kid who was, you know, third with the IBF, it wasn't a big deal. Um, 160 is not, not a huge jump. Um, it's still a weight to make, you know, I don't walk around like that. It's not it's not like um, you know, I'm doing nothing to make it. It's still it's still, a, it's still a weight to make. Um, if anything, it just gives me a bit more energy and a bit more a bit more, you know, in training, you know, a bit more energy in training. It's a bit more energy with the fight. Um, I won't be killing myself to do anything. Um, and, and it, it's paying dividends at the moment. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. And Carlos, there was a, a period in your career where it seemed like after winning a world title at 154, you kind of become a high level opponent for, for prospects. You, you went in with the likes of Josh Kelly, Suleiman Sissoko, uh, Abbas Burrell, all around the same time. And then it's kind of turned round again for you. You're on a great run of form now, going back up those world rankings. What, what changed? I mean, what, what, the main thing that changed was when uh, I fought a boss, a boss bra. I feel like I won that fight. It was a close fight, and they, they took it from me. That was for a WBC international title. So I came back, and I was like, what am I going to do? So I started promoting my own shows. I started promoting here in Mexico, and uh, I got eight wins in a row on my own promotional card, uh, King Card of Promotions. And you just gotta you just got to move on and keep going. And, and uh, at the same time, I got momentum going into this fight and I feel like um, it's, uh, it's it's been it's been real good for me uh, being on my own cards and fighting as often as I have been. And Sam, you're once again headlining on Channel 5. We saw you against Ashley Theophane not too long ago. How great is it for you to have that uh, free-to-air exposure on British television, especially with all the stuff people are talking about at the moment with Matchroom potentially leaving Sky Sports? You've got a great platform. Yeah, no, it's good, mate. It's good. It's good. Like I say, it's good to be consecutive, top of the bill. You know, hopefully, you know, we'll be we'll carry on doing this. Um, yeah, Channel Four is huge. Um, it's it's an audience that you know most people buy Sky to watch boxing. You know what I'm saying? If you, but with with Channel Five, everyone will, will will turn over to Channel Five. You know, um, and it gets huge viewing numbers. So, so yeah, it, it's massive. Um, it's great. And Carlos, I have to ask you, Sam's the, the house fighter, of course. 
Um, you've have been on your own cards, as you mentioned, for the last eight fights. There's been a lot of controversy in recent months about the officiating in the UK, the judging in particular. Is that something that you're aware of over there? And, and is it something that concerns you going into this? I mean, going to anybody's hometown, it always concerns you because, you know, you know how it is. And I, I've been in that position many times before in the past. So I know what I need to do. And that's not leave, not leave it up to the judges. But at the same time, it motivates me being being like that, being the underdog, and uh, having having them boo me coming in, but cheer me coming out. <laughs> Good stuff, Sam. I'm, I'm going to ask you this one first. What uh, what do you perceive as Carlos's strengths and weaknesses? Again, but I don't I don't I don't watch much. You know, I don't watch much of opponents. Um, I leave it down to the team. And I go from, go from what they say. I know he's tricky. You know he's you know he's experienced. You know you don't need to you have to search him up to know that. So you know his experience is there. Um, you know I've heard, you know he's tricky. He's a tricky customer, but it's it's all in a day's work. But um, I'm quite confident. You know I'm, I'm I'm putting in the work. So you know no, no matter what Melina turns up, um, I'm going to be there for twelve wines or less. Um, and I'm fully, you know, confident of a win. So we'll see. But it, you know, it's tricky, and and it, and, it, and it comes to have a go. Um, but that's, uh, if I'm honest, pal, that's all I know. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't look through fights and, and so on. So I just go off what I'm told and, and, and do it to my best of my ability. And Carlos, the the same question to you, albeit in reverse. What what do you make of Sam's strengths and weaknesses going into this one? I think his strength is uh, he he keeps he doesn't let you breathe you know he keeps he keeps he stays on top of you throws a lot of punches you know he keeps he comes forward. I feel like his weakness is almost the same thing too. I mean he throws a lot of punches he leaves himself open. His defense is you know you know sometimes it's a little iffy, and uh, that's that's what we're gonna uh, take you know take advantage of the of the weaknesses and uh, make it make it our fight. Defensive uh, question mark, Sam. Probably not the first time you've heard that. Nah, it's, <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? You know, uh, I box down box. You know, um, we'll, we'll see on the night if it, if, it, if it turns out good for us. But I'm, I'm more than confident, so it's not it's not something I'm worrying about. And to both of you guys, what sort of fight can we expect for, you know, main event, Channel 5, free TV here in the UK? And a lot of people are looking forward to it. What what type of fight do you expect? Okay. Either of you, be, both of you. <laughs> I feel like it's going mean, to be a fight. I feel like, you know, he comes forward and I'll, I'm always aggressive also, throw a lot of punches and I feel like uh, it's going to be a fan-friendly fight and I can't wait. Sam, similar thing? Going to war once again, yeah. do you think? I think so. I mean, you only have to, you know, ask, ask either of us what this WBC Silver will do for us. So, you know, you know we're both going to turn up um, and put it all in. You know, uh, I'm going to leave no stone on turn to make sure that, you know, I'll come out, you know, on top. So, it'll be a good fight to watch. Um, and, you know, it's definitely tuned into it to happen. And Carlos, we, it's clear what this a win for Sam will do for him, a former world champion on the record, a WBC number eight ranking or higher. What will a win over Sam Eggington do for you? You know, the thing is, like, I worked too hard for this just to, like, you know, let it be taken away from me in this fight. You know, I, I, I've been promoting eight, eight shows, eight cars, eight wins on my, on my shows. And for me, the main goal is winning the world title, the world championship. And I feel like after winning this fight, that's going to put me right there. Is, is, it the nice, is it nice in a way that this time around, you don't have to organize everything else for the show? You don't have to solicit opponents. You don't have to do any of the contracts, hotels, everything. You can just fight. Hell yeah. That's, that, that's, that's the most stressing part about it is fighting. <laughs> Promoting, promoting and fighting the same car the same night, I feel like uh, just not having to worry about that right now and focus on my boxing, it's, uh, it's great. 
Sam Carlos is coming over to the UK for this, of course. But would you fancy a fight in Mexico one day? I think they'd quite like you over there. All right, listen. That is something that I wouldn't turn down without a doubt. Um, I'd love to go over there and fight. I'd love to go over there and just watch, you know, watch some fighting. Um, but yeah, no doubt, you know, if ever, you know, after this one, you know, Carlos goes home and, and needs one to go be on one of his shows, you give me a shout, I'm there. There you go, Carlos. Fr friends afterwards and possibly colleagues. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll give him the rematch here in Mexico. <laughs> I'm glad we've already secured the rematch before the first fight's taken place. <laughs> Guys, I really appreciate your time. Genuinely looking forward to the fight on the 22nd of May. Channel 5, Hennessy Sports, of course. Very best of luck to both of you. And um, pleasure to, to speak with you.